Hey guys, <laughs> get situated here. So, oh, uh, this up. So this is kind of a test video because I want to start doing videos outside, especially as it gets warmer and warmer. It's beautiful out today, but it's been off and on, so it's probably not going to stay like this for right now. But when I get the chance, I want to do videos. I haven't really prepared today. I just wanted to test and make a video just for the purpose of making a video outside. This cord's all tangled up. But I guess I can give some updates and things. That, uh, one thing that I haven't really mentioned yet in any of my videos, I don't think, anyway, is that I bought another uh, domain name for the website. <laughs> this is crazy. Should have done that before making the video, but anyways, I bought a domain that's kjv101.com and I just bought that just because I thought it was really cool. It's the shortest dona domain name that I have, uh, shorter than KJV Chat and KJV Forum. But I want KJV 101 to be like my professional type videos where I'm teaching doctrine and I'm going to upload those onto that section of the website so people can go to kjv101.com and see those when I start doing that. And so I'll have videos on my website instead of just on YouTube, but those will be, you know, some of the better videos that will be short uh, on doctrine and lots of scripture use and stuff like that. Um, so that's one thing. And uh, I just, I plan to get a lot more studies out and uh, as time goes on. Oh, I don't know. I, when I do start doing these videos outside, hopefully I'll do another one the next week or two, or maybe even sooner. I want to start talking about church buildings. And so that'll be a lot of what these outside videos will be about. So I can just come out here in the open and just ran about church buildings. And I'll go through scriptures and I'll have studies made up. Um, I was thinking maybe I should I could share something today. I got the New World Translation here, the book, the Bible that the Jehovah's Witnesses use. And there was one day when Jehovah's Witnesses knocked on the door at my mom's and I was there, but I missed them. And I was like, man, I really wanted to witness to them. And I saw their vehicles parked at the park. And so I went there and I sat for like an hour because no one was there. They were walking around town, going door to door. And I, and I drove around, tried to see them. I waited for like an hour and I didn't get a hold of them. But while I was waiting, I wrote down all these proofs that Jesus is God that can even be proved from their own Bible. Uh, verses that show that Jesus is Jehovah, the attributes that Jesus has that can only be ascribed to God, and his divine works that he's involved with, like creation and uh, forgiveness and judgment. Uh, so uh, I was prepared, and I'm prepared now. You know, if I run into a Jehovah's Witness, I got their own book and these proofs written down here in the front. And uh, KJV 101 too, I did make this new logo. I was just messing around and I put it on the hat. I'm going to try some different things. But you can see the logo when you go to the website. That's all that's on there right now. It's just that picture. But I thought it was kind of cool. It's just It's kind of like the same stuff that a lot of other people have done. But, you know, I saw the emblem and it had the emblem and the crown. And then I just started adding to it. And uh, anyways. So... We can see in John chapter 8, verse 46, that Jesus is sinless. So let's look at that. I was just going to go over a few of these. Um, you know, I've done videos on, a video on Catholicism recently, one on Mormonism. You know, I've been talking about Calvinism. And so let's talk about Jehovah's Witnesses. So John chapter 8, verse 46, and this is from their own New World Testament, New World Translation. What was it, 846? says, who of you convicts me of sin? If I speak the truth, why is it you do not believe me? Okay. So who can convict the Lord of sin? Let's look at 1 Peter verse 1, 19. Proving the same thing. Verse 
1 Peter 1 19 says but it was with precious blood like that of an unblemished and spotless lamb even Christ with precious blood like that of an unblemished and spotless lamb so that's basically saying that Jesus was sinless that you can get that from that verse too hmm Let's see. We got Isaiah's vision. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1, proving that Jesus is Jehovah. Let's see. There's a lot more that could be said about Jehovah's Witnesses, but one of the main things is that they deny that Jesus is God. Oh, I was just on there. Isaiah... Chapter 6, verse 1. Isaiah 6, verse 1 says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I, however, got to see Jehovah sitting on a throne, lofty and lifted up, and his skirts were filling the temple. Jehovah sitting on a throne. Let's look at John chapter 12, verse 41. John 12:41. Now, did I write the right one down? Hmm. I don't think that's. I don't think there's a. Wait, maybe there is. Yeah. John 12:41. Isaiah said these things because he saw his glory and he spake about him. Speaking of who? Jesus. That Isaiah saw Jesus, who is Jehovah. So that was that prophecy fulfilled. Uh, so, yeah. I just saw that Denlinger posted a video saying, quit exposing me. <laughs> it's probably a video where he's saying that nobody's really exposing him because what he speaks is the truth or whatever. But if there's anybody who's really a hardcore follower of Denlinger who's really adhering to his doctrines, I mean, he's way gone now. And you know, I was thinking, you know what I think the issue that really is with Denlinger? He, uh... He's really against going to the doctor and stuff like that, and he's against medicine, which there are some issues there, sure. But, uh, you know, it also can benefit people greatly. And I really think that Denlinger needs to go to the doctor because he needs to get his head checked out because he's seriously got some major issues going on there. And uh, he needs to get on something. I don't know, maybe uh, shock therapy or something. Maybe that'd help him out. But, <laughs> yeah, he's... Uh, off his rocker for sure uh, but i'm not going to quit exposing him no no way so yeah hopefully uh, this all gets recorded right and the sound's working it's kind of a test and i might make another one tomorrow i might make it the next day it might be a week from now it also depends on the weather if it's too windy you know i can't do it if it's too dreary and you know i want to do it on a nice sunny warm day and you know there'll be more and more of those coming up so i'll get in the routine of doing this and i'll do different locations and different studies but like i said i do want to do uh, studies on church buildings for a while and get a lot of that stuff off my chest and speak more about my experiences and so uh, you know i love this you know i love that this is the fruit of you know me getting my license back and having a job and all the help that i've had I have my own place now and i'm able to do so much more so you're going to be seeing more and more come out from this ministry and I'm just thankful for all the brothers and sisters that I've met since I started and time's flown by I can't believe I've been uploading videos for like three years but uh, hopefully you know I'll get another three years and do some really big things and so love you guys and uh, have a great day and hopefully I'll get some more videos uploaded tomorrow whatever it'll be but or soon but uh, there's a lot I'm going to work on the whole dichotomy versus trichotomy thing, that's something I want to do next. You know, I want to get some church building studies worked up. I've got some things on Brian Denlinger and stuff that I've already been working on that I want to come out with too. So just whatever comes up. So 
Thank you guys, and I'm going to shut this off now. God bless.